I'll be honest, I've been here about 11 years, maybe a little bit more. I have never, ever seen anything like this. The firefight at Heritage Hills has been hard on the local water source, with a small team working all night to ensure that fire crews have enough to be able to battle the blaze. It is, uh, it's nerve wracking. We've been here in the wee hours of the morning and, uh, you know, we would like to see this get under control. It is it's really, really nerve wracking. The water supply is okay. I, you know, the, as much as we're pouring in is as much as is being taken out. You know what I mean? Like we are working side by side, hand in hand, as much as we can pump in is as much as is being pumped out. You need a lot of water. Uh, up on Vintage, we've probably found a dozen so far that have sprinklers on top of their homes, going full blast. Well, of course, that impedes everything we're trying to do as well, right? Uh, a lot of these homes have underground irrigation. They're on timers. Uh, a lot of people want to keep their homes safe, so they left it running as they were evacuated. It's, uh, it's, it's looking a bit like a war zone. You know, we've got the helicopters and we've got ground crew all over the place. So they are a massive presence up here right now. We're constantly cruising this hill. We're constantly going where the first responders are. We're constantly stopping in with the firefighters, uh, asking them how things are going, what can we do on our end to help in the effort. We're just making sure that we keep the communication lines open with every station that is posted in this hill. We stop and talk and just make sure we get as much information as we can. But not all homes can be saved once the fire took off. I was up at Christie and it was just kind of a lit, what looked like to me was just a, a, a little plume of smoke in behind that reservoir there. And so quickly it just, I'm glad we were on it as far as uh, our water goes. Water crews will continue to remain on scene 24 hours a day to help with the supply. For Castanet News, I'm Casey Richardson.